Welcome to the bread kitchen. Homemade whole wheat loaves are delicious, but sometimes they can be a bit heavy. Today I'm going to share with you a few secrets to help you get your whole wheat loaves nice and light. Add one and a half teaspoons of dried yeast to 400 grams of lukewarm water. Mix well, then leave for 10 minutes. Now I'm adding a lot more water into this dough than I would do for white flour and that's because all the bran and germ in the flour also needs to absorb moisture. To 500 grams of whole wheat flour add 2 teaspoons of salt and mix well. Make a well in the centre, add in your yeast water mix and a tablespoon of vegetable oil. A little bit of fat in the dough can really help the rise. Then mix to a dough. And what you should end up with is a dough that is a little bit sticky. Turn the dough out onto a surface. Then knead really well for about 10 minutes. Now depending on your flour you might find that your dough is a bit too sticky. Or just sprinkle a little bit of flour on the work surface. And start kneading again. Don't add any more flour than you really need to, otherwise your dough might end up being a bit tough. Now you'll reach a point where you've added just enough flour. It still feels very sticky, but it's not really sticking to the surface anymore. So don't add any more flour at that point. So after 10 minutes of kneading, you should end up with a nice silky dough, which is still a little bit sticky, but not too much. Pop the dough in a lightly greased bowl, then cover and leave in a warm place until the dough has about doubled in size. My dough's risen really well, so I'll just turn it out onto a surface. Bloop. Knock it back to get all the gas out. And then bring it together into a ball. And I'm just going to knead it for a couple of minutes. After a couple of minutes, shape it into a ball and leave it rest for five minutes. You can just put the upturned bowl on the top of it. After five minutes the dough should have relaxed enough that you can press it out into a rectangle about seven inches long. Now roll it up along the long end and with the seam on the bottom tuck the ends under, shape it, now put it into a nice deep loaf tin, press it down and you can either cover it, or I put mine into a nice big plastic bag. And then I'll put this in a nice warm place to allow the dough to almost fill the tin. After about an hour or so, the dough should fill the tin. Now bake at 190 degrees fan oven, 210 normal oven for about 35 minutes. And when it comes out of the oven, it'll have risen a little bit, but not much. So I'll just get it out and then I'll leave it to cool. Eat a cracking little loaf, this grommet. Another thing you can do if you've got time is actually give a second rise to your dough. So after the first rise and the knockback, shape it, pop it back in the bowl and let it rise for a second time. That helps too. I hope you enjoy making your whole wheat loaf and do join me next time in the bread kitchen. Mm -hmm.